Hi there, it's Dave here from Drive Green. Uh, I've got a really nice uh, Nissan Leaf 40 kilowatt Ascenta model here. Don't get too many of these. We normally tend to get the end connectors and the Technas, but this is still a really, really nice car. Well specced and looks really terrific in this red color. Um, if we look at closer than the bodywork, it's done around 35 and a half thousand miles. So there are a few marks on there. I'll try and highlight some where I can. There's um, sort of a small scrape on there. You can just see, um, we will try and get that uh, touched in. There are a few little chips I'll point out as we go. Um, so the front alloy is pretty good. There's a couple of little marks on there, but nothing really to worry about. Um, coming along, there's no dinks as such. There is a, a small little bit on the door there, which you can maybe just see if I move up and down. Again, if we can get that touched in for you, no problem at all. Um, likewise on the back of the door there, there's just a small mark. Coming along to the rear wheel, again, that's a nice condition. These are centre wheels are really nice actually. Um, actually some people prefer them to the Techno ones. So they are pretty classy. Um, coming around, nice contrast of the black with the red. Uh, and then you've got the blue detailing on the bottom bumper there. In terms of marks on the back, not too many. There's a couple of little bits on the rear bumper there, which you can maybe just make out. But again, we'll get those touched in, it's not a problem. Quite a striking design, really, when you walk around this. The, the rear quarter lights are really nice. Um, coming down onto the alloy at the back here, again, really good condition. Nothing really to worry about. Uh, on the side here again, there's a couple of little, little tiny scratches, which will try and get uh, touched in or polished. Um, these cars have done sort of 30, 35,000 miles, so there will be a few little marks on there that uh, come with general wear and tear. But anything over and above that, we will do our best to uh, get rid of for you. Uh, on the front wheel here, there is a little bit of rushing on the corner, but uh, we've decided to leave it. Uh, should you want to get that touched in by a local uh, expert, that wouldn't cost too much at all. Um, but all in all, very nice condition. It's got a Type 2 charging cable and also a shadow mode cable. So the range on this is about 160 miles real, real world. But a really nice mid-range car. We just come into the interior. Being the centre model, there's no leather, it's all cloth. But it's all extremely clean. Um, doesn't have the heated seats or the heated steering wheel that the end connector and the Techno have, but still a very nice place to be and very well appointed sat nav, uh, a very good infotainment system and a very clear dash for displaying all information, but really nice and tidy. We'll just come into the back now. Again, one good thing about these Leafs, there's, there's so much space in these. They really are a perfect family car. They, they really, really are. And nice and tidy. A couple of little scratches on the inside there, probably where someone's caught the seatbelt buckle, but nothing to worry about at all. Coming around to the boots. Okay, very tidy inside. Um, nothing in the boot at the moment, but we will supply it with a three pin charging cable, a standard. And should you want a type two to type two, we can look at putting one, one of those in for you for around about a hundred pounds. Um, but all in all, a lovely example. So very rare, we don't see many of these, but you know, it does keep the cost down a little bit compared to the end connector and the Tecna. But visually, you'd be very pushed to see the difference. So very nice, would look great on someone's driveway. Uh, if you've got any problems or questions, feel free to give us a call. And if you haven't done so already, please like us on YouTube. All right, all the best. Take care now. Bye.